Welcome to TYT Sports, Ben Mankiewicz here. Time for five questions in five minutes. Who had the better throw, Yasiel Puig gutting down Simmons at third or Cespedes' throw home that I think got Kendrick, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, the answer to that question is Cespedes. Jason thinks I'm saying that just because I'm an A's fan, but Puig's throw was amazing, but it was, it, it was less shocking than Cespedes' throw. Uh, struggling with the ball in left field, losing track of the ball in left field, and then glancing up as if to say, oh, I think he's going to try and score. Well, you know what, I'll just throw home. Uh, it was more surprising, more of a shocking baseball play. I was there. Uh, it was stunning. I'll give it to Cespedes, but they were great throws. Uh, it's great to see the, this many uh, Cuban players having an impact uh, on the majors. Who will win the end? I'm going to go with the NL West. The Dodgers or the Giants, being that Los Angeles and San Francisco are on the West Coast, Jason, but that's okay. It's, it's tricky how that map works. Uh, you were probably looking at it upside down. Um, uh, I'm going to pick the Giants. I think Brian Sabian uh, will make a move. I think he will boost that lineup somewhere, probably second base. Uh, and I think the team that struggles up the middle, the Dodgers have this unbelievable pitching. And if, could the Dodgers win it? Of course. Are they likely to go 42 and 8 again? over a 50-game stretch, which is what won it last year? No. And you saw what happened to the Dodgers just this week uh, in the two losses, two goofy losses to Cleveland. One 10-3 where they hit into a triple play on bad base running. And then a 5-4 uh, loss or 6-3 loss yesterday, whatever the final score was yesterday, a game they just gave away uh, with bad defense. And to me, uh, a team that relies so much on pitching that has the worst defensive shortstop in baseball and probably the worst center field defense uh, up the middle. Uh, that's a weakness that is uh, uh, too hard to overcome. So uh, they're both good teams. They probably both make the playoffs. So I'll take the Giants. Which Bartolo Colon uh, photo is better? Uh, they're funny, but the one on the left looks like it's uh, staged a little bit. The one on the right looks like a big fat guy who shouldn't be playing sports. So I think, I think we can all acknowledge the Dunkin' Donuts photo. Oh, and how fitting that we're seeing Dunkin' Donuts in that photo. So we'll go with the one on the right. The better rookie in the bigs, Jose Abreu or George Springer? Uh, this question, the, the better rookie in the league so far is the guy with 26 home runs, Jose Abreu. But just as the, it feels weird to have Japanese players be considered rookies, like Tanaka, who will win the almost, even though Abreu could hit 45 home runs and Tanaka could win the rookie of the year, neither of them should win the rookie of the year. They're not real rookies because those leagues are good. Uh, so uh, uh, the Cuban league seems less good than the Japanese league. I'm not even sure that's right. Uh, but so in a sense, traditional rookies, the authentic rookie there is George Springer. But Jose Abreu, what a sign. Just like the A's with Cespedes a couple years ago. What an amazing signing by the White Sox to get Abreu. Mid-season awards in baseball, Cy Young and MVP. Uh, the American League Cy Young is so close and so competitive, but the only stat where Felix uh, Hernandez stands above Tanaka significantly is in uh, fielding independent pitching. Uh, so I'm going to give it to Hernandez. But somehow Tanaka is worth almost a win more than, than Hernandez, and I can't, for the life of me, figure out why. But they're both having almost identical seasons. Uh, but I'll give it to, to King Felix over Tanaka. The National League Cy Young Award, if, uh, if Kershaw had pitched in more games, it would probably, he would be competitive in this. But right now, Adam Wainwright uh, running away with it uh, with the Cardinals. Uh, American League MVP, American League Most Valuable Player, it pains me to say it, but he's by far the best player in baseball. It's Mike Trout. There's no competition there. In the National League, there is a competition, uh, I suppose, between Stanton and Tulowitzki. Tulowitzki's too good. He's the, he's the MVP right now.